Hello, Laker Nation. Welcome to another edition of Laker News Update. I'm Gant Thomas. And I'm Ashley Kakula. This week, we've got a very special show for you. There are several segments that we're introducing. Ashley, why don't you give the people of Laker Nation a rundown on what they can expect from Laker News Update from now on? Gladly. First up, we have Say What, where we'll be using the best of all your tweets and Facebook posts and putting them on display for everyone to see. If something's being said, you can find it here. In our sports segment, we'll be covering all of Clayton State's athletic teams. If you missed a game, don't fret. We'll have the inside scoop. We have our breaking news portion of the show, which will be our unique spin on campus and Laker community news. You're definitely going to want to see this. Next, we have Around Atlanta in 60 seconds. Atlanta is a massive city with a lot going on, but don't fret because we're going to package it up and give it to you in a digestible 60 second bite. In our really segment, we're going to let loose and discuss all the crazy things we see on campus. We know you've seen it too. Time to put it out there in the open. Well, it sounds like the audience is in for a real treat. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. First up, we have Say What? Right. It's Callie Duh tweets, great job to the models at the Guns N' Roses fashion show, Clayton State. Next, we have Big Daddy Ray who tweets, going to support my baby Alex in her fashion show. Clayton State, fashion show. Those are all hashtags, by the way, you guys. At his Mercedes tweets, and this is very important, so please pay attention. Man, if y'all live in Clayton Station, Laker Hall, and you know you can't cook chicken or fry bacon, don't do it. Okay? It's crazy. People can't cook these days. No, and this is not your mom's <laughs> house, so you do not burn down any of these residence halls. <laughs> next, we have at Tati Shana, who tweets, I really can't wait to be a Clayton State student next year. Everything is coming together. So we definitely can't wait to have you. So welcome to the family, I guess, if you get accepted, hopefully. Uh, she will. <laughs> she will, right. She will. She will. <laughs> at Key Chantel tweets, I love Clayton State. Best college ever. And I'm going to read the hashtag. So hashtag CSU, hashtag Clayton, not Columbus, and hashtag the real CSU. We didn't if you that. want your tweets to be on Say What next week, make sure you include the hashtag CSU Say What and all your CSU related tweets. We'll discuss the best ones right here. And now it's time for Around Atlanta in 60 seconds. So go. In music, the Tomorrow World Electronic Dance Music Festival took over the weekend in Chattahoochee Hills, and this week the Fox Theater is delivering a dirge of talented artists, including The Weeknd, Jack Johnson, and J. Cole. In art, the High Museum just ended a three-month run of Johannes Vermeer's famous Girl with the Pearl Earring painting. It was on display along with 34 other Dutch works from the Golden Age. Currently running in series include the Civil Rights Photography and Howard Finster's Paradise Garden. On Eats, on October 8th, the Georgia Aquarium will be hosting its eighth annual Aquavino. Come out to sample wines from around the world and indulge in Atlanta's fine cuisine. Make sure you stop by the inaugural Atlanta Cheese Festival in Piedmont Park on October 11th. Right. Great. I think you made it. Was that 60 seconds? I, I think it was, yeah. Cool. So it that was, was a close one, and I don't know. I didn't think you were going to make it. Go. You did. You did. <laughs> so that was just under the wire. But you know what, Ashley? I have had a lot on my mind lately. Really? Really. <laughs> All right, so if you weren't familiar with that intro, this is going to start off our really segment every week. So this is where we talk about things that we see on campus that are really worthy. <laughs> so the first one is going to be mine, and that's going to be bright colors during the daytime. If you are wearing neon yellow from your head down to your <laughs> shoes, that might be a bit much for daytime. I think I was a little blind after seeing that person, and I'm not going to call you out because <laughs> I felt bad. I didn't want to take your picture, so I didn't because I could have put you on Laker News Update, but I didn't. <laughs> so that might be a bit much for daytime. If you're not running up the street at 11 o'clock at night, don't wear that many bright colors at once. <laughs> Ashley, you have one? I have one. I have two rules for Clayton State students. Okay. One, let's not feed the ducks. Yes. It's against the rules. It's just not right. Let's just not feed the ducks. Right, and we all know why. Don't feed the ducks. Just don't do it. <laughs> okay. Number two, let's not fish in the lake. Oh, no. Who does that? Don't Not fish. here. No. 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 Have you ever no, fished? In the I've lake? never fished. You? No, because no. there's a rule against right. it. Right. Because we don't fish in we the lake. We don't do that. No. There are signs that say don't fish in the lake, so don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Just want to let you guys know. <laughs> <laughs> Great. So, whew, that felt good to get all that off my shoulders. 
<laughs> what are you telling? That was long overdue. <laughs> Absolutely. And that does it for our show this week. So we hope you've enjoyed it and make sure that you take the time to tune in next Monday for another entry of Laker News Update. So we'll see you then. Lakers out.